February 9th, I was informed that SafeSport, the agency assigned to investigate misconduct allegations against athletes, had received an anonymous tip that I was engaged in some sort of sexual misconduct with female athletes 18 years ago. It turns out that USA Cycling had received an anonymous tip four months earlier, just days after I announced my candidacy for Congress. They then, re they then referred the matter to SafeSport. Such investigations are opened automatically after any misconduct complaints are made against an athlete. Days after I learned of the safe sport investigation, an anonymous person contacted Upper McCungie Township Police and made the same allegation, giving the same details. Both Upper McCungie Township Police and the Lehigh County District Attorney's Office investigated this accusation and found it to be groundless. Let's be clear, the very same facts presented to law enforcement were promptly investigated and found to be without merit. So here's where we are. An anonymous tipster planted a clearly false allegation in hopes of triggering an investigation. Tipsters then turned around and planted a story with the media that I was under investigation. These days, it's all it takes to smear someone. The accusation is false. There are no accusers in this case. The women identified to investigators deny that any misconduct occurred. Ordinarily, in a sexual misconduct investigation, the complaint comes from the victim. In this case, it was an anonymous third party planting an allegation. The presumed victims not only have told investigators that no such thing happened, they provided signed affidavits and the women were willing to meet with reporters and confirm their written statements. I repeatedly offered to show these affidavits to the reporters and they refused to even look at them. The reporters have not been interested in getting at the truth or falsity of this accusation. They are con content to report that there is an investigation into me. Despite reporting the existence of the investigation, by their own admission in today's story, the morning call reporters admit they, can, they cannot determine any facts in this case. From the onset, I offered to make myself available to the investigator from SaySport. Repeatedly, we were told they had no questions to ask. In one instance, the investigator said he had developed no credible information against me. This anonymous smear was designed to destroy my livelihood, my candidacy, and my reputation. I'm not going to allow this to happen. It has affected my livelihood, disrupted my campaign, and caused pain and worry in my family. But this isn't just about me. These kind of acts don't just damage one candidate. They corrupt the entire political system by basically rigging elections by smear tactics. And they certainly do no favors to the victims of real acts of sexual misconduct. When you use enough clearly false smears, you make it harder for women's voices to be heard. In this case, women were not listened to. In fact, the morning call reporters declined to so much as meet with them or examine their statements. Instead, we live in a time anonymous people in the shadows can spread false allegations and they get them into the media, smearing not only me, but harming the falsely named. The voices in the shadows are overpowering the truth and using cooperative reporters to do it. I want to say to the voters in this district, these are false accusations planted just days after I began my candidacy. The presumed victims themselves deny such a thing happened. It's time to end this sort of politics. We should be talking about policy, not false rumors. At this point, I'm going to introduce William Chadwick. He's a former Pennsylvania Inspector General and former Acting District Attorney for Philadelphia. Bill will be able to walk you through some of the details of this case. And after he's done, I'll take any questions any of you have. I'll stay here as long as you need me to respond. The facts in this case are clearly on my side. The truth here is our friend. It only remains for someone to report. <clears throat>